By the end of 2050, nuclear energy will provide at least a quarter of the power generation in the British Isles. In March 2022, British Business Secretary Kwasi Kwarteng yelled these words in a messy interview. In fact, Kwarteng really didn't want to be involved in the bad things about nuclear energy, but he had no choice but to stand up and respond in the face of questions from reporters and orders from high-level officials. After yelling that sentence, the atmosphere at the scene was a little weird. The reporters' eyes were not surprised, but mocked, because a year ago, China General Nuclear Power Group, CGN cancelled the 240 billion yuan super project, Hinkley Point C nuclear power plant project. For a whole year after that, no company wanted to take over this project. For the British, not to mention the goal of providing one quarter of the power generation by the end of 2050, it is now a big question whether nuclear power plants can be built. So, what happened to the Hinkley Point C nuclear power plant project? Why did China finally cancel this super project? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about. Let's get started. To figure it out, we have to start with why the British are roping in China as a nuclear power partner. I am proud to have opened Britain's first nuclear power station. In October 1956, 30-year-old Queen Elizabeth announced to the world that Britain occupied the world's number one position in the field of civilian nuclear energy, relying on breakthroughs in atomic energy technology during World War II. Britain took the lead in the field of civilian nuclear energy. Just one year after promulgating its civilian nuclear program, Britain successfully built the nuclear power plant with a production capacity of 65 megawatts. By the way, during the same period, the Soviet nuclear reactor was only 5 megawatts. In the following 10 years, the United Kingdom not only started the construction of nine nuclear power plants, but also exported two nuclear power plants to other European countries with its own good technical capabilities. However, UK civil nuclear power has slowly entered the downhill after reaching the top. At the same time, Due to the successive discovery of oil and gas fields in the British North Sea after the 1970s, the explosive growth of oil resources has greatly eased the energy shortage in the UK. Energy prices tended to drop, and nuclear power revenue also fell into a trough, so that the British energy company that controlled nuclear power was on the verge of bankruptcy. In contrast, China, which started out far behind Britain in civilian nuclear power, has surprised the British by rising to the top. Since the birth of the Qinshan nuclear power plant in 1991, China has had nearly 40 nuclear units in operation, with a total installed capacity of 50 million kilowatts, ranking third in the world. After the Fukushima nuclear power plant leakage accident in Japan, Japan's nuclear technology, which was originally considered to be highly safe, has been criticized, while China's domestic nuclear technology has gradually emerged on the stage of competition. At first, the British believed that China's nuclear technology was not safe enough due to long-standing stereotypes. Only after several rounds of inspections did the UK finally recognize that China's civil nuclear technology had reached a level of excellence in the world, and agreed to China's participation in the Hinkley Point nuclear power plant. So, why did China join the world's most expensive and endless nuclear power plant project? In t 2006, British Prime Minister Blair proposed the ambitious Hinkley Point nuclear power plant plan, a total investment of more than £10 billion, a design life of up to 60 years, and providing 7% of the UK's electricity demand. However, from 2006 to 2019, the plan was delayed for a 13 years before it started. It is closely related to the Japanese. In 2011, the Fukushima nuclear power plant accident caused most countries in the world to have deep concerns about the safety of nuclear power plants. The Japanese's poor response to this accident has greatly deepened the fear of nuclear disasters in many Western European countries forcing them to strengthen investment in the safety of nuclear power plants, and some even shut them down permanently. In this context, 
the Hinkley Point nuclear power station was forced to increase its budget to ensure safety. The investment of the entire project is estimated to be £18 billion, making it the most expensive nuclear power plant ever. At the same time, the German company that was scheduled to participate in the construction of the plant withdrew because it was ready to permanently cancel the plant in its home country. The UK had no choice but to invite France to join the construction of the plant. But the French also have their own difficulties. In order to raise the £18 billion, French Economic Development Foundation involved in the project had to sell its high-quality assets, including power plants distributed in Poland, Italy, Finland, and other countries. Even so, France only collected €7 billion. Euros. What's more embarrassing is that the Hinkley Point project may not be as profitable as expected. According to the scheduled £92.5 tariff scheme, the British people will have to pay a price one times higher than the market price to buy nuclear power. However, if the UK economy hits a downturn and the price of electricity goes down, there is still uncertainty about whether it can be paid according to the agreed electricity price in the future. Given the long and difficult construction cycle of nuclear power plants, cost recovery is slow and can easily be delayed by an accidental change. For example, in the case of Brexit, the then Prime Minister Theresa came forward to suspend the project, resulting in losses. Therefore, few countries are willing to join this uncertain business, so why is China willing to join? In fact, what China is looking forward is another nuclear power plant in the UK, the Bradwell B project. Under the agreement, China's indigenous Huolong One technology will take a leading role in it. Once successful, it would mean unprecedented recognition of Chinese nuclear technology in foreign countries and a solid foundation for developing international markets in the future. Unfortunately, this win win agreement between China, Britain and France did not achieve the expected results. In terms of economic interests and market logic, China is the best partner for nuclear technology cooperation. But for most British politicians, ideological conflicts are far more important than the market, and the nuclear power plant cooperation between the two countries has thus encountered strong political obstacles. Starting in the fall of 2020, the UK embarked on this nuclear decoupling program. As of June this year, The Guardian informed the world that the UK had officially withdrawn China's stake in the Sizewell nuclear power plant. At the moment when the energy crisis broke out in Europe, China's withdrawal of nuclear power plants in the UK will undoubtedly cause the greatest losses to the general public in the UK who have a large demand for electricity. However, China's withdrawal does not mean that the export of nuclear power plants has stagnated. In recent years, in Brazil, Argentina, Kazakhstan, Egypt, and other places, China's nuclear power plant technology export momentum is unstoppable and is being recognized by more and more countries. In July 2022, due to the standstill of the Hinkley Point C nuclear power plant project, countless raw materials were piled up outside the construction site, which caused complaints from surrounding residents, even though they lived miles away. Facing the angry residents, officials of the British government came forward to appease them, saying that they would definitely restart the nuclear power project and build the Hinkley Point C nuclear power plant into the world's largest nuclear power plant. As a result, before the words were finished, the nearby residents took out the prepared tear gas, and the scene suddenly became chaotic. Since then, the British government has chosen to avoid talking about this nuclear power project and even blocked the surrounding national highways, prohibiting any personnel from entering the construction site. Now it seems that the Hinkley Point C nuclear power plant project seems to be completely stopped. It will be decades away. Well, thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.